Welcome to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are all fantastic. Today, we are working on Treasure Studios art. I have a little bit left in the arm to go. And a little spot up here to go. It's about three and a half parchment paper squares. So... The, pl the plastic was getting a little chaotic because I had done all the black all the way around and all that. So I was like, okay, paper, plastic can go off in the... This is actually uh, Cotart squares. But yeah, I put them to use. So, today we are doing a whipping chat. Trapper dude's in the craft room again. He's been in here smelling something like he's like... Uh, you hear him smelling? He's been in here going crazy for like the last 20 minutes. Like, he can't figure out what was here or who was here. What was here, Bo? Anyways, he don't know what was here. He just got his old snooter working. So today is Tuesday night. It is like uh, 10 o'clock right now. Yeah. I'm in California. What am I, what, what can I say? It's 10 o'clock. It's just got dark. I just got done taking a shower and I was like, okay, time to record a whipping chat. And then, oh wait, no, I got a frog sitting in its cage looking at me. And hopping all around like, hey, check me out. Can you feed me? Hey, can you feed me? Oh gosh, she is getting big. I think I found a trick to fatten up Phoenix. Thanks to the lady at the pet store. Like I told you guys last week that story. But yeah, she is she is. Definitely getting on the plump side. I've been giving her full night crawlers because that's her that's her meal of choice right now. And these night crawlers are like they're they're monstrous. If I was to use a night crawler this big, I would cut it in half and put it on my hook to go fishing. But she eats the whole thing. And then I take it and I pump the stuff that the Full of nutrition for like the baby Pac-Man frogs, and I pump the this worm full of this stuff, and she has been uh, she's been getting a very high protein diet. Although she's eating worms, but she's getting a very high protein diet, and she's getting plump. She come out of the dirt today, and I was like, holy good lord. So, what are you doing? He thinks there's something here. I think he's crazy. Trapper do. Hey. They're they're talking to you. I don't have nothing on me. I just got a shower skin. Uh, he goes through these spells where he thinks he smells stuff. I swear, he's just... He done bumped his noggin too many times. Okay, get out from underneath the drafting table. Get out! You're not listening. 
I don't know what the heck you're smelling. There's nothing has been in here. Besides you and your sister. Jeez. All right. So yeah, Mary Jane, or Phoenix, is getting to be a plump little froggy, which I'm excited because this plump froggies are healthy froggies. And then Trapper, holy good lord, Trapper's been on a terror with his water tub, holy cow. I came home from work today, and his water tub was about half empty. So he must have been in and out of that water tub all day long. And it didn't help much that his cousin came over and played on Sunday. And she was in that tub, like, the whole time she was here. She'd go run in and jump in that tub, and then go over to the sliding glass door of my house. Like, can I go inside? She's an outside dog, so she's used to staying outside. But since she's by herself, since they lost their other lab a couple, a few months back, <clears throat> they, uh, they let her come in the house and she pretty much sleeps in the daughter's room. <clears throat> yeah. And so Trapper got to play with his cousins on Sunday. And me and my brother got together for a few hours. I got to go online and buy our hunting license for the year. We got to put in for the draw. So we can see what we get drawn for for the hunt this year. I put in for a couple of different zones. Uh, you can get three choices to put in for the draw. Uh, you will get drawn for one choice. Uh, I put in for a, the zone I want for my first choice, and the second zone I want for my third choice, and then a real hard zone that I would love to hunt for my fourth cho or third choice, just because I know they ain't going to pick an X zone on the third choice. So, I I get... Either my first choice, or I'm going to get my second choice. So, yeah, between me and my brother that day, we ended up spending like $800. Yeah. By the time I bought all of my, my hunting license, my tags, my Upland Gabe Bird stamps, where I can go shoot squirrelies. Go go shoot squirrelies. We got this song for squirrels that me and my brother sing. Um, I don't know if I really want to sing it here on YouTube because it is kind of a it's a funny song, but yet it's not. It's some people may take offense to it. But it's basically telling it to come out and play so we can shoot it in its face. My brother made it up several years ago. <laughs> every time we go squirrel, every time we go deer hunting and we're trying to find uh, a spot to go or a road to go road hunt or a place to go get out and walk or class and see if we see deer and we're not seeing deer. On our travels, so it usually was like, okay, we start singing the gray squirrel song, and the next thing you know, there's a deer, there's a deer, there's a deer, or, or we say the, the deer song, and squirrels will start showing up. It's crazy. I need to find a bear song, so I can sing a bear song, and then a bear shows up, because I would love... To shoot a bear. I would love to shoot a bear. My brothers have.
I watched my brother shoot a bear. Bears are resilient. They they truly are resilient animals. I my brother shot a bear two years ago bow hunting. Blood all over the place. Couldn't find the bear. We went up and found the bear about six hours later. Still alive. No problems. It had blood all over it, but the bear's coat is so thick that the skin and the fur will pretty much coagulate the, the, the blood on the coat. So then it'll, it'll plug up the hole, their wound, and then they stop bleeding. It's crazy. Yep. You guys are probably thinking, mm, no thanks. We're not going to talk about deer hunting. I'm not going to talk about deer hunting because I know there's a lot of people who don't want to listen to deer hunting. But, eh, it's my channel. It's kind of tough. But, we're going to talk about something else because I don't need to sit here mumble on about deer hunting. Uh, I am getting extremely excited though because deer season is coming around the corner. Um, I put in for the tags. I will get notified. Um, probably around the 10th. I can go online and figure out what I got drawn for. And it's either... Well, depending on what my brother gets drawn for, that's when the hunting really starts. Because if my brother gets drawn for A1, then I will hunt bow with my brother. Just, he's got to pull my bow back because my shoulder's screwed up and I can't pull my bow back. And if he gets drawn for a C, then we're both hunting together. And so is his old lady, and so is my dad, and so am I. So it'll be a big old group of people. I love hunting with my dad, but sometimes it's like... My dad's like the old school type. He cannot sit in a vehicle and be quiet. Like... Four or five years ago, we were out hunting, and he, he decided that he was going to buy a bow tag, because he, he had a bet with me for, I think it was like $500, he had this bet with me, that he could pick up my bow, the way it sits, and never shoot it before, he could pick up my bow, and put a release on, or have a release on, pick up my bow, and go shoot a buck, no problem. And I was like, that's a deal. I'll take you up on that. That's a that's a brand new bow for me. I need an upgraded bow. I've had my bow for quite a while. Nothing wrong with my bow. I just upgrade the string, strings on it and keep it well lubricated. Waxed. And so he decided he's going to buy a, a archery tag and just use my bow. And I was like, that's fine. I'm already going to be hunting anyways, so I guess it's just whoever grabs the bow first shoots first. So, needless to say, he never shot. And he never gave me any money. Because hunting season ended, and I was like, eh, whatever. I don't, I'm not even worried about it. It's fine. But, uh, he, the moral of the story is, is we were hunting, and when me and my brother hunt, it's, we hunt together, and it's quiet. We have the radio going, the deer are completely used to the, a little bit of a noise coming from a vehicle, not a problem. And we're driving along this old, dirty ass bumpy road it's middle of nowhere like 5,000 feet in elevation and come to this clear cut and there's like 30 deer and there's like 8 legal bucks in this group and where we seen them at we could have shot at them with our bows and by the time my dad sees them he's like 
Hey! There's big old box! And he's just screaming bloody murder at us, and we're like, shut the F up! What? I go, you don't have a rifle. You have a bow. Now, they're running. Full, full bore run. You just blew your shot shooting a buck. So, from that day forward, my dad has always rifle hunted. Thanks, thankfully. Because if he bow hunted with us all year long, uh, uh, ha. I don't know if I could put up with him. Because me and my dad, we're, we're like two peas in a pot. Like, we're so, so much alike that we we push each other's buttons all the time and write each other's buttons. Like, my dad tells me what to do, and then I, I go over and I tell him what to do, and yeah. It's just, it's just for fun. He don't think it's fun sometimes, though. I just do it for funds. It's fun to rub your dad the wrong way sometimes. It's not fun. I just like pissing him off. I like pissing him off since I was a little kid. This is something I've always done. Especially when you come home from school and you tell your dad, yeah, uh, your mom says, I'm in my room because I'm in trouble. My dad comes home and he's like, where's Justin? Or where's Jeremy? And uh, my mom's like, he's in his room. He's in trouble. My dad will come in the room and be like, so what'd you do? Got into a fight. For why? Because he was making fun of my last name. Well, what did I tell you about that? And I said, they punch first and you beat their ass. Yeah. And who punched first? I said, I did. He goes, why? I said, because he knocked my food out of my hand that I had just bought. This kid was the kid that used to torment me all the time. I was like, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. He threw my hand, my food, brand new pizza, big old slice of pizza I just bought with a large soda. I was a junior in high school, and this little punk come up to me and slapped my food out of my hand, and it hit the floor. And I, I beat the brakes off the little punk. Anyways... So, yeah. My mom and dad taught us that we can fight as long as we didn't start it. And that should be the same way for the world today. And we should all stand together and be united. That's why it's... Yeah, anyways. So... We're supposed to have rioters in my town tonight. There are a bunch of, there's like six buses of people coming in. Shh. Don't know why they're coming here. A lot of the stores are fearing that they're going to get a bunch of stuff vandalized. So they have pretty much closed the stores. Um, went and bought a bunch of plywood and boarded the stores up. And the part that I find weird is they were going to make their march at 11 p.m. at night. Or their protest march. Now it's like, why so late at night? And I heard that there was this these buses of people have been going all over the US doing stuff. 
I guess they were, well, not U.S., California. Because I guess they were doing it big time in L.A. area, just having problems. But I hope you guys are all safe out there and don't participate in the... I mean, I'm completely cool with the... A good old healthy protest, but when the vandalism and killing people, that, that needs to stop. That's a little over the line, in my opinion. That's why in my, my Instagram post um, today, I said, we all are one. We are one race, and that's the human race. We need to love each other, not hate. We're supposed to be one. We're supposed to be strong. Okay, I'm on to a different color and a different subject because I don't want to talk about this. I just wanted to bring it up. My dad's... I was talking to me about it. My dad's wife's like paranoid. She's like, do you, do you have everything under control over there? Do you need us to, uh, to go to bring you any guns? I mean, we can bring you some guns over because, um, they got like a bunch of guns over there too. But I'm like, no, I don't need no guns. I got, I got plenty of guns. I got enough guns to feed probably five football feed, fit teams. No, I don't need no guns. I got enough army or ammunition to take care of myself for a while. No, I don't need no guns. I got it. I got it, okay? I got it. But yeah, she's like paranoid. She's like, oh, they're going to come out here. They're going to come out here. They're going to get us. You're our first line of defense before they get to our house. I'm just like, oh, my God. They are not going to come out the way out here to the country and do anything. Trust me. That gate is locked and there's private property and no trespassing signs on each side. If people start coming out here, gunshots are going to be fired. And not in any range of people, but just to tell them, hey, uh, go away. But there ain't going to be nobody coming out here. Be real, y'all. Be real. Um, I don't know. I just, this is his hit a little close to home for me with everything that's going on in the world. Mm. Where are my scissors? We just need to love each other and stop the hate. There's no room for hate in this world. No, you cannot have. Sorry. You cannot have. They do not want to open. They don't want to give them to me. No. Ugh, I got some. <laughs> White chocolate. Sorry, I gotta get some candy in my system. I haven't eaten since earlier. Um. So how did you guys like the extra videos this week so far? I got a couple extras put in there for you guys. Um, it just happened to be... Oh god, 9.39. It just happened to be one of those weeks where I had some extra videos kind of on log. What I call log. I already had them like preloaded to YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me. A couple of them were on Patreon. Whatnot. 
<clears throat> that way. Patreons have stuff to watch. Which I need to start getting a little bit better prepared with the Patreon. Um, I ordered a printer cartridge because I was talking to Sister Christy. And I said, hey, what would you like to see for a video on Patreon? And she said, definitely coloring. And I said, I got you. I got you, sister. Because I have been wanting to color myself. I have kind of gone off of my my coloring game for a minute because I got wood burning and I kind of got wrapped up in wood burning. I'm, I'm still wrapped up in wood burning. I love wood burning. If you guys don't know... <clears throat> I'm a crafting channel. I do all kinds of stuff. I do diamond painting. I have paint by numbers. I have a buku bunch of paint, uh, coloring stuff. Like, I have like three different sets of ohuhus. I'm like, I'm a huge ohuhu fan. I have wood burning. I have a, a knitting machine. I do crocheting. I'm doing a beaded cross stitch. I'm like, I'm I'm busy. Like I never seem to have enough time to sit down and work on one thing. That's why I was like, I was telling my friend, I was like, man, I love doing my channel and I love the fact that I started wood burning. The only thing now is, I feel like that's all I want to do is wood burn. So. I gotta start limiting times for me to work on different stuff. So, I'm kind of going back to my old schedule for a little while. Um, I'm, my my YouTube schedule is going to be the same. It's going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday videos and Saturday live stream. But I'm going to change up. My time that I I do stuff. And what I mean by that is, is four months ago or so, I used to dye my paint on Monday night. I work on a product or piece. And then Tuesday night, I would record my whip and chat. Wednesday... I would diamond paint and visit Sister Addiction and Sister Tia and get, like, a boatload done. And then, Thursday, I would record Friday's video, and then Friday, I would color. So, I'm, I've kind of gone back to that. Um, I'm dedicating more time to... Diamond painting because I'm getting so close to being done with this canvas and I'm just, I'm etching to be done because that, that super sticky patty wax does not want to stick right now. Like, uh, that Diamond Art Club Howl at the Moon or, um, Call of the Wild, Call, Call of the Wild Child. Call of the Wild, it's, uh, it's calling my name. And... I need to do that painting, like, soon. Very, very soon. If anybody knows where I can get glow-in-the-dark square diamonds, let me know. Hook a brother up. I need some square glow-in-the-darks. I want to enhance that moon so that moon has a, a glow. And I think I may end up and go down around the the wolf or something. Throw some little reflections around the wolf. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I gotta kind of map it out like a, a man bun. If you guys don't know who man bun is, they're, they're, they're freaking hilarious. Be at Sister Tia's live Wednesday night. You'll see. He like maps out his whole canvas and like where he's putting sparklers and where he's putting ABs and where he's putting this and where he's putting that. And I was just like, good lord, 
that I picked the ha, like total jaw dropping artwork over there. I was like, God, Lord, spent some time into just charting out what you want to change. I was just like, Whoa, mad props to that, especially he's a new, new dim newer diamond painting, that newer diamond painter. Yeah, totally mad props, bro. But I'm not gonna go like balls to the walls with mine. This will be the, my very first diamond painting that I have ever made any kind of change to it. So I don't want to change it drastically, but I want to change it enough to where that moon has got some glow in it. And I was looking on Tima's site. You guys don't know who Tima is. That's Diamond Paint with Sparklers. She, from what I've seen, she is all sold out of square glow in the darks. And it's like, err, err. <clears throat> I got a little bit of time because I got to finish this section and I want to finish t my Timney Arts Fish. Because I'm, I'm like three quarters done with that painting. And I got like maybe a six by six section up here to finish. After I finish this arm. And this is mostly color blocking. So it should, should go quickly. As long as I get in here and actually get, get some days to, uh, to work it up. But I am excited. I I haven't done a Diamond Art Club in a a hot freaking minute. Um, I I love Treasure Studios art, and I love Diamond Art Club. They're two of my my top must order places. Um, somebody asked me uh, the other day. What are your, your like top five diamond painting companies you would buy from? I would say Treasure Studios Art, Diamond Art Club, Timney Arts, Star Ore, and Mystical Diamond Art. Or not Mystical, is it? It's, yeah, Mystical, Mystical. Mystical Diamond Art. Yeah, I think it's Mystical Diamond Art. Um, they have one right now that... Oh. My. Freaking. God. I. Uh, yeah. Miss Debbie W showed it to me the other day. And I was like... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I need it. The only thing I, the, the, the website, the picture wasn't like very clear. So I was like, man, this, it, I love the image, but I want to make sure it's going to be clearer than what they show on the picture. On the picture, it just looks like a, kind of like a blur. And I was like, I don't want it to be a blur. So I gotta see what that's gonna look like. I'm definitely gonna order it. So I have to say, Treasure Studios Art, Diamond Art Club, Timney Arts, Star Ore, and Mystical Diamond Art. Those are like my top ones. I, and the only reason I say Mystical Diamond Art is because they've, they have some really good canvases. Um, I, that moon, oh my god, I forgot about that moon. Do I want to do that moon or do I want to do the wolf moon? Nah, we're doing the wolf moon. The other moon from Mystical can go next after that. I, I need some moons in here. I need some moons because I got a bunch of wolf paintings that are going to be coming up in the works. Eventually, when I get time. A um, couple of them are huge, but I would love to be able to put up some moons next to them. I was thinking about rearranging my craft room a little bit 
and making my wolf wall a lot bigger. Because right now my two cabinets are over there. And in between the two cabinets are three Diamond Art Club wolves and my all-time favorite Diamond Art Club to date is A Song for a Moonlight. And oh, <laughs> every time I see that painting, it's just like, <sighs> and then now I see this new wolf painting, I'm just like, mm, uh-huh, these are calling my name. I need to work on you, like, right now. Okay, what color do I need? I need to fill in that color. Diamonds. But diamonds circles. Seven and six. I will need a couple of these. So, I did the, uh, an extra video, like I was saying earlier, a couple extra videos this week. So I did a, a the kid, the fur babies video because I was showing um, newer people to YouTube how to upload videos because I had a couple questions on how to upload videos. I said I'll I'll make a video for you. So I did that. I like helping out. And in the process of making that video, that's when I uploaded the, uh, the doggy video and the couple pictures of the cat. I didn't realize I didn't put very much of Mary Jane in there until afterwards. And I only put a little bit of Phoenix in there, but that's all right. They get over it. Okay. That's it for that color. And then, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's that's really about it. I mean, work has been pretty busy. Um, we finally hit a little bit of a eight twenty. Finally hit a little bit of a slow stat um, for the time being. I'm sure we'll pick up again here real soon, but it has been kind of nice because I've had time to go back through the shop, clean up. Tear down boxes, because we've got a, a bunch of boxes in from the last few jobs. And just get the shop back into order. Like right now, we're trying to find... Uh, it's a 3H ratchet extension with a 9mm on the end. And it's got uh, two screws with it. And my boss set it down someplace, and we can't find it. We have literally looked over the whole entire shop, and it is nowhere to be found. It is lost. But, like I told my boss, we don't need to be using other people's tools. And then when they get lost, we get, oh... I shouldn't have never let you borrow that. I don't like that. That's why we need just to get our own stuff. Okay. We're going to go for that sideways doodad, which is 154. So, the guy that... We weren't even borrowing his tools. He just happened to leave them at the shop. And my boss was like, Oh, here's some tools right here. Let's use this. And I was like, um... Whose is that? And he's like, oh, it's Chuck's. And I'm like, um, yeah, make sure you put that back. So when we got done with the job, he didn't put it back. I walked over and put it back because I don't want Chuck to come in and be like, where's my tools? I want him to be there. So if he does come in to get them, they're right there. So now we can't find one of his extensions and 916's ratchet. 
<sighs> I tell you, nothing ever works out. But work is steady again. Um, we're in the process of looking for a new building again um, because the landlord is already being a total tool bag. He's like, uh, you guys' rent's due. We're like, yeah, we know. We paid you. And then the next month, he's like, I can't wait until January gets here. And we're like, why? And he's like, because I'm tripling your guys' rent. It's fine. We ain't gonna be here. Mine's empty. He wasn't too happy about that. Wasn't too happy at all. But like I told him, I don't care. I'm not in the game to pay his bills. He can pay his own damn bills. The building that we moved out of is still sitting empty. It's actually was put up on the market for lease about three months before we even moved out of there. So, what the heck is this guy doing? I have no clue. And then he wants to boss us around and he calls and he's trying to tell me what to do. And I'm like, dude, I'm not my boss. You ain't going to push me over and you ain't going to tell me what to do. And I hang up on him, and he calls back. He's like, don't you dare hang up on me. And I just I just go off on him. Start using a bunch of vulgar words. And then my boss is like, Jeremy, you can't do that. Watch me. Talks to me like I'm stupid. Watch me. I'll talk to him however I want to talk to him. He ain't my boss. Well, he can kick us out of here. I said, no, he can't. We have a lease. We're good. He can kick rocks as far as I'm concerned. He is a complete jerk. Okay, next color. 550. Where is 550? Right here. Um, somebody asked me after I was done with the 310 on this painting, how much 310 did I have left? I'll show you how much 310 I had left. I was extremely picky with this canvas. So far, I've only got, um, uh, where's my trash tin? Oh, it's shit. I knocked it over. I took all of my cover minders off. So this is all my trash out of this so far. It's not a lot, it's because mainly it's got little tags. Mainly, it's colors that were in the wrong bags. And this is how much 310 I have left. So, there is, there is the bag. I got, got enough to roll too. Sorry. So, plenty left over, like Treasure Studios Art guarantees, 30% extra diamonds. I have people ask me all the time, do you ever run out? I have never run out on Treasure Studios Art. Uh, actually, I there is one. My, my squirrel. 
It's right here beside me on the wall, my squirrel lady from Treasure Studios Art, which was my very first collaboration here on YouTube, and that was with Diamond Art Addiction. I call her Sister Addiction, because that's just my, my way of calling her. And I did run out of a color. Luckily, I had the same color in another kit because I ordered both of the squirrel paintings, which I believe right now the squirrel paintings are back on the website. If you wanted to get one, you can get one. I believe they're still there for a time being. And I had the color, which was 820, I believe. So it worked out nicely. And she ended up and sent me more anyways. And Trapper Dude's over there breathing really hard. I think that's about it. I haven't been doing much of anything. It's just been to work and to home, to work and to home. I need to go grocery shopping one of these days, which with everything going on, all I have been doing is going to work and coming home. And haven't really felt like going grocery shopping. I need to go. I'll get there probably this week, beginning of next week. I have. Still have plenty of food. I'm just getting a little low on some necessities. Um, 9.15. I don't know who organized my filing over here, but my baggies are all out of order. Just saying. <laughs> that had to be me. Uh, I need to drink some Orange Crush. <sighs> some good old Orange Crush. We are almost done with this. Which is awesome sauce. Then I can move on to a different section. And then I'll be letting you guys go. After I show you. This. What's left of the painting. Um, let's see. Anything else. Um, Live Saturday, I'll be back to my normal time, Saturday night at 8.05 Pacific Time. If you want to come and hang out, you can come and hang out. I usually go live until I feel like getting off. Um, sometimes I go live for like an hour and a half to two hours. Sometimes I go live up to like five hours. It, it all depends... On what I did that day. And how much pizzazz I have in my step for that day. Speaking of that. M&M's. 777. Seven, seven. Lucky number. Mmm. White chocolate. Mmm. This is that color was that was evil freaking color. I got a story for you guys. Oh my god. I got a story for you guys. I need to put these in my grinder. So, story for you guys. Let's see of these. There's a few of them stuck together. The other night, 
I was sitting here diamond painting. They were stuck together. I was trying to get them unstuck from each other. Just like that. I was trying to get them unstuck from each other. And I was sitting there. I'll help. I'll show you. And I was sitting like this. And there was two of them stuck together. And I needed one more diamond. And I'm sitting here like pushing them apart. And it shot off. And the next thing I know I'm like. Oh shit. It shoots me right in the corner of my right eye. I'm like oh crap. I'm like what the frick was that? And I start feeling inside the freaking diamond went straight inside and sat next to my eye and i was just like oh my god that blood bloody hurt and my eye still hurts from this so i'm like kind of fishing it around with my finger and i push it out and as i grab it and i pull it off it was two diamonds stuck together and they shot out and went right into my freaking eyeball i was like what the hell Trying to kill me, diamonds? Right in the bloody eyeball. I'm like, do I need safety glasses for this hobby now? For this craft? Like, holy cow. Like, my eyeball still freaking hurts. It feels like it's bruised all in and around my eyeball. Last color. And I'm going to show you guys this masterpiece. And we're going to get the heck out of here. But yeah, my eye hurts like a son of a biscuit eater. Like right in the corner. Like right where it shot in at. It, was, it, it just feels like it's bruised. It feels like it's bruised. Three, three, three. Six, six, six. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna finish these two diamonds right here. Did you lay down all the way? Yeah. And we are going to say our goodbyes. So as always, I hope you guys all have Oh, uh, crap. I'm trying to do this without the tray, but I guess I should just do it with the tray. I hope you guys all have enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I was a little squirrely and just kind of all over the place. I was trying to pick... <coughs> Chuck and I, Eminem. I was trying to pick a topic to talk about and kind of be more on topic and instead of all over the place. But... Oh well. So, if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. So you know when I post my videos, and my posting of videos is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. A live stream on Saturday night. One month, or one day... One Saturday out of a month, I go live in the morning. And I will be figuring out a new time to go live for Patreons coming up soon. Because somehow I didn't do a very good of a job um, sharing the link to the Patreon. So not a lot of people were able to come to the Patreon live. And I also want to give a great big thank you. To all of my Patreons for all of the support that you do here on the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I definitely feel loved. So, oh, I should pause you guys so you don't get sick. There she is. This is all I've got left. And that's a lot of color blocking. I tried saving it for the last. 
and I'm glad I did. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Thank you all for coming today and watching. I truly appreciate all this support. As always, remember to have some peace, love for each other, and respect for one another. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.